Hi, my name is Sheena. I'm working on two projects. The first one is to fix the signature of the review request closed email. Currently, admins are given access to make changes to review requests that are not owned by them. When they click this close button here, the review request will be closed and an email will be sent. The current closed email has a correct header, but the template has wrong name in the signature. As shown in this screenshot here before the fix, it is showing the name of the owner of the review request instead of the admin who closed it. What I did for the fix was that I changed the review request.submitter to user. In this case, it will track the correct user who performed the close action. Now I log in as an admin and I'm going to close one of the review requests and show the email change in the terminal. And the email is printed here in the console. And now we see that the name of the user who closed this review request is shown in the signature instead of the owner of the review request. And now let's look at the second project. The second project is to add an automation flag to track when review request is closed automatically. When GitHub, Bitbucket, or some other third-party repository services push a review change to a repository, it causes the review board to automatically close the review request. Currently, as shown in this timeline, it looks like it is the owner who manually closed the review request. This is misleading. We would like to track that this is closed automatically and reflect the changes. First, instead of showing the user avatar and name, we would want to show the review board logo. In the close email, we would like to indicate that it is the review board that closed the review request. And first, in order to track that this is automatically closed, we would need to add an automate flag. I added an extra data JSON field to the change description model using Django Evolution that will allow us to store the automate flag as key in this JSON field. Then I added this as a parameter to multiple methods related to the hosting services close webhook flow. I added this automate equals to true and close all review request methods, which would then pass this flag to review request.close. In the close method here, it will then pass the flag to um, the close email signal and it will save the flag and its value in the extra data field as part of the change description model. I also added the flag as additional parameters to the review request resource API update method. And the review request email is one of the consumer of the automate flag. We expect the email to render differently when the review request is closed automatically. And in order to show that, I will be running to test and show the difference in the email template. So the first set test that I'll be running, um, I'll be calling the review request.close without passing in the automate flag. And here, as we can see, it is shown that this close email is sent by the owner of the review request. It also has things and indicate the name of the owner in the signature. This is not what we want. So I will be running the second test, calling the review request.close method by passing the automate flag equals to true. This simulates the scenario when review request is closed automatically. And here, when we look at the email, we can see that in the from field, it is saying that it is sent by review board. The sender is no reply at example.com and we see that it gets rid of the thanks and the signature. And this is all that I have to show for this demo. I'll be showing the changes in the front end in the next demo. Thank you.